collection. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at magazines uh, 54 and 55. That is uh, Dark Phoenix, who is the Black Queen in our second set. And then um, our second Wolverine, um, who is a White Knight. So here are the figures in the boxes. What we'll do is we'll start with Dark Phoenix. Okay guys, so here is Dark Phoenix. Just looking at her head here, she has um, golden eyes and then this auburn hair which is really well sculpted and looks really cool, really well layered here. <clears throat> kind of makes it, gives it a sort of, <coughs> excuse me, gives it a kind of fire effect which is quite cool. Then she's got a gold and kind of orangey reddish uh, outfit with an emblem here on her chest of a phoenix. She has golden gloves that come down from the top of her arms. She then has a golden belt wrap which flows down here at the back which is quite cool. Then she has the golden boots which come all the way down to this sort of flame here which she is kind of flying out of which gives her kind of a really cool well it's kind of a cool effect there to make it look like she's jumping upwards in this stance she does have very dark lips if you can see those the lighting is not too good today but she does have dark almost black lips with white teeth there So the kind of, I really like the pose, I think she stands really well, she looks really cool. In terms of the paint, um, the hair is okay, the body is actually painted really well, um, Not there's no smudging, and the face is okay. Not bad, I've seen a lot worse. I like her. You like her? Yeah! Okay, cool. And here we go, we've got a Black Queen base with felt padding on the bottom. So she stands quite tall, particularly with the base and this flame that she is kind of flying out of here. So that is Dark Phoenix. Uh, let's take a look at the magazine. How she stands on fire. So we've kind of got the pose here that we see on our piece on the front cover. So, Dark Phoenix is one of the most powerful and destructive forces in the history of the universe. Capable of destroying a sun, Dark Phoenix is also uh, caused the X-Men to face their darkest hour when they believe their teammate Jean, Gr Jean Grey had turned evil. It is only fitting that such a powerful entity is the collection's Black Queen. The sculpt is based on the time the well believed Jean Grey was Dark Phoenix. Kind of really cool picture here to start off the magazine. Um, and then we've got just, again, as usual, just talks about Dark Phoenix. Uh, here we see her bursting into flames. Got this X-Men poster in the middle here with Dark Phoenix being carried by Cyclops. Here we go, here we go. this is our peace pose. As you can see she is hovering here, surrounded by what looks like fire. And yeah, we just got more comic book tales and how she interacts with the X-Men and so forth in here. Some cool um, kind of pictures of her. And then how she was present when the X-Men took on the Avengers. 
So yeah, really cool piece. Um, and obviously then it showcases Wolverine, which is the next piece we'll take a look at. On the back here, we do have Dark Phoenix uh, in an embrace with um, Wolverine. Looks like they are about to kiss there. So let's take a look at Wolverine next. Okay guys, so here is Wolverine. This is the second Wolverine we've had in the collection. Um, obviously we had Wolverine in the first set. Uh, this one is in a real kind of action pose, looking like he's just about to leap forward. Uh, this piece is actually really good. Uh, I'm really happy with this piece. Um, I really like the pose. It's quite broad piece. I'm not sure how he's going to fit on the board next to other pieces because it's quite spread. Um, but I really like the pose and the paint job is fantastic. So just taking a look at the face here, um, we can see he has his kind of yellow out, yellow and blue outfit on. And then on the face, we've got this really kind of aggressive pose where he's kind of showing his teeth there, which are painted in white. And we can see he has white eyes through the mask there. And then we've got some skin tone on the arms, but he does have blue gloves with his forks. Blades coming out of his knuckles there, painted in silver. He has a X-Men belt on, the X-Men logo there on the belt, and he has brown pouches on the belt. Okay, turning him round here, we just look at the back, we can see the muscle definition here. As you can see, the paint is really, really well done on this piece. Then he has the black belt there. And then he, on the base, you can see his feet are in an action pose as they look to leap forward. And then we've got the white knight base with felt pattern on the bottom. But yeah, really, really cool piece, really cool pose, um, really good sculpt. So really, really happy with Wolverine. So let's take a look at the magazine next. Okay, so here is the magazine. So uh, what we've got here, Wolverine has overcome a violent past to become a true hero. Like a samurai or a knight, he lives by a strong code of honour, but is capable of great savagery when unleashed. His role as White Knight in the collection reflects this. The sculpt features him ready for action, adamantium claws and sheathed. So yeah, a really cool, really cool piece. I wasn't particularly happy with the first Wolverine that we got in the first set. He was okay, but this one definitely makes up for uh, anything that one was lacking, I believe. So yeah, um, another magazine on Wolverine talking about his claws, his adamantium claws here. Um, and more to do with his interactions with the um, with the X-Men in this magazine. Here we've got Wolverine there. Quite a cool poster. And then it talks about his healing factor, his, his feralness, his claws. Some really cool action pictures here. Wolverine in action. There he is fighting, fighting Hulk. Talks about him in Days of Future Past here. And yeah, that's the second Wolverine magazine. Um, next, obviously, we are going to be looking at Cable. And there's Wolverine. Looking quite aggressive or potentially in pain there um, on the back. So, yeah, there we go. That is Dark Phoenix for you and Wolverine. Both pretty cool pieces, you know. I think they both look really good. Really happy with Wolverine and Dark Phoenix. So, um, yeah, really happy with this month's selection. Well, actually, this is a previous month's selection now because. I'm quite a way behind on these reviews. Um, obviously, having just reviewed magazine 55, um, I've recently received 65, so I'm about 10 uh, reviews behind here, or five reviews. Um, 
so yeah I'll be looking to catch up on those as quickly as possible anyway um, thanks for watching um, I'll do regular updates on the Marvel chess collection or as regular as I can at the moment so if you're interested in the collection uh, the collection is actually moving into set 3 now <coughs> excuse me which is a spider-man based set uh, so the piece I received recently was Miles Morales uh, but some of the pieces look really good so even though I wasn't going to carry on with the collection because I'm not particularly happy that um, I haven't received my uh, premium subscription Fantastic Four 7th figure um, for some sort of three month delay now which is quite frustrating given that we pay for that figure um, which and almost actually was going to make me cancel the collection I am going to carry on until I get that 7th figure and potentially into the quite a way into the third set because some of the pieces look awesome. Sandman in particular looks fantastic. So I will see how I get on with that. I'm not guaranteeing that I will carry on with that collection because obviously I do have two um, Marvel chess sets now. Um, and do I really need a third? But some of the pieces look really, really good. So um, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Um, thanks for watching and have a good day.